Now we'll go over the DNA fingerprinting worksheet together. Number one says the DNA fingerprints are made from blood samples taken from a puppy and four possible sires of this puppy in an effort to determine the puppy's pedigree. According to this information, which sire was probably the father of this puppy? Let's start from your answer. Possible sires. It's going to be the one that's more closely related. And here we see we see some very prominent bandings right here and here. And so this one's a little bit easier than some because you can just follow down till you find these bands here. So if we we'll follow these bands down, we'll see. This one matches, doesn't match, doesn't match, and doesn't match, these are small. So it's going to go right to this bigger band here. And then we've got this really prominent band here that's also showing up there. And those kind of match. Another really prominent band here and here. So this sire would most likely be the father of that puppy because they more closely match than these others do. So the correct answer would be C. And number two says, the picture shows a segment of DNA from a cat. Which of these is most likely the kitten of this cat? Circle your answer. This right here, this first little segment, that's the, the mama cat. And they want to know which one is this mama's kitten. It's not going to match it exactly because the kitten, of course, would get some DNA from the father as well as DNA from this mother cat. But we'd expect to see some bands from this mother cat in the kittens. So this one matches with just that one. So this one matches with that one. And this one doesn't match back, but that could be a band that came from the father. So this one matches, it's got a, several matches, but it does match with this one that we're thinking it probably belongs to. This one matches up there. And this one matches all the way across. So that one doesn't help a lot with identifying. It seems to be a common band there. And this one as well. But the, number four is most closely related. It has this one and this one that we definitely do not see in those others. So kitten four would most likely be the, the kitten to that mama cat. So D would be the correct answer. Okay, number three up here says Mrs. Smith has a baby named Sarah. She believes one of two men could be the father of her child. A paternity test is done and the results are shown above. Mm, scandal here. So, which of the two men are Sarah's father? Okay, here's the baby. And here's the mom. So, we know that some of these bands on baby came from mama. But this band is not shared with this band either. This band is not shared with mama. Okay, so mom doesn't have that one. Uh, dad one's not exactly. Dad two does have that band. So dad two has that band. That one could have come from mom. This one didn't come from mom, so we need to find it on dad. And again, it could be dad one or dad two, either one on that one. And this band did not come from mom, so it had to have come from dad. Okay, Dad 1 does not have that one at all, or not even one really close. And Dad 2 does have that band. So it appears that Baby could have gotten that band from Dad 2. That one came from Mom. This one did not come from Mom, so it had to have come from Dad. And it, yes, it is over here on Dad 2 as well. So it appears that Dad 2 would be the father of this baby.
Okay, number four says, Lieutenant Russ is investigating a murder scene. The felon has, was scratched by his victim, and some of his skin cells were found under the victim's fingernails. A DNA test was performed. Which of the suspects is the murderer? Okay. So this band right here, this column, this is the crime scene evidence. So we've got to find which of the suspects matches up with the crime scene evidence. Well, that one could be either of those. Okay, this one is found in one Entering two and three, but two has had both of those, and two has that one. These three match. If it's a crime scene investigation, you want to make sure they match up exactly. These two match, these two match. So it appears that suspect number two would be the one from the crime scene. Again, all that does is place them at the crime scene. It doesn't absolutely prove that they did anything. So that would be suspect number two. Number five says the millionaire, Mr. Big, has just died. He has left behind a wife, a daughter, and a large inheritance. The news of his death has brought forth two men who claim to be long-lost sons of Mr. and Mrs. Big. Before Mr. and Mrs. Big were married, they had an illegitimate child that had placed him up for adoption. They have tried to find him after they became wealthy, but had no luck in locating him. A DNA sample was taken from Mrs. Big the big daughter, and the two men who claim to be the long-lost son. Which, if any of the men are telling the truth? Let's look at this one. Okay, this is mom, so any of these bands that mom has could have come from mom. Okay, this is daughter. It shows some bands. The bands that daughter has that did not come from mom would have had to have come from dad. Okay. So this band is on daughter, but not in mom. So this band would have come from the father. And both both of those have that one. Um, this band did not come from mom, but it would have had to come from Mr. Big. But hmm, neither one of the men claiming to be the son has that band. And also, neither one of them have this band from mom. This came from mom, that one came from mom. So this is another one that would have had to come from dad. And son one has it, but son two does not. Okay, so is anybody telling the truth? Does anybody have bands from both mom and dad? And it doesn't really appear like they might, so. Like son two has this one that would not have come from mom and and. We don't know for sure about dad because we don't have dad's DNA, so we can't really tell for sure. They both look a little suspicious that they may not be the offspring. And unless you have dads, you can't really make a, a definite decision, but it appears that neither would be the son. Number six says, Mr. and Mrs. Jones just gave birth to fraternal twins, Bob and Jane. Unfortunately, the nurses confused the Jones twins with four other babies. The doctors took samples of DNA from each of the babies and Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Which of these six children are Mr. and Mrs. Jones twins? My dad had this little triplet band here, so child one has that little triplet band, so that could have come. We could be the offspring. Let's make sure child one has nothing that would not have come from either mom or dad. So that one came from. This little thing, these three here, they came from dad. This one could have come from mom. This one could have come from mom. This one could have come from dad. 
this one could have come from mom, and this one could have come from mom. So it looks like child one is probably a child of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Child one. Okay, let me ask if there's three little ones to get us started. So let's see. I'll shrink it just a little bit so we can look at all of them at the same time. That'll make it a little easier. Now, so child one might be a match. Child three's already got a band that didn't come from either one. Child two also. Child two and child three both have that band up there that neither one of their parents. Appear to have. And child six as well. So let's look at four and five. So four. That band could have come from mom and dad. That one could have come from mom. Sometimes it's easier if you can line a piece of paper up and follow. That one could have come from dad. That one could come from mom. That one came from dad. That one came from mom. And that one came from mom. So it appears that probably child one and child four are their twins. That's that. Maybe their fingerprints are kind of fun. It's always.